So what's up everybody? So in the last video, you can see that the Crown Vic looks a lot different than it used to. Uh, I got the bumper put back on. I got the headlights put back in. I got the corner lights put back on. Uh, the engines put back together. <coughs> uh, intake manifold cover or engine covers put back on. Uh, intake manifolds put back on. Uh, throttle body, all that stuff. Uh, you know, valve covers. All kinds of stuff. The only thing that's not back on is the intake tube and the number seven cylinder spark plug and coil pack. And I'll get to that in a second. Uh, and I have the EGR put on, but it's not going to do me any good because the tube that goes down to it right there, which you can see, I point the key at it. It's right there where the end of the key is. Uh, it broke. So I've got to replace the tube or block it off one of the two. Uh, but anyway, I've also got the key fob, which does work as you can see, see, pops it, not going to hit the alarm because it's still morning, but it locks it. See, there you go. So now I've got a key fob, which works. And this car did not come with this. So for those that don't know, if you want to know how to find that out, all I did was called a, uh, dealership near me. And they looked up the VIN number and they could tell me everything I needed to know about the car. And that was an option. So that's good to know. Uh, and there's also, which is, it doesn't make sense to me, but that's just what Ford did. The transmitter for this is in the driver's door. So if you want to look for that, see if you have it. There you go. But anyway, uh, let's get to the meat and potatoes of why I made this video. Aside from showing that the car is put back together to where it looks like a a car again doesn't look like a demolition derby car so i said i think i said in one of my videos about this car when i first showed it uh the number seven cylinder had a helicoil put in it well apparently it either did and people mess with the spark plugs or by the grace of god that spark plug has just stayed in the cylinder because now the spark plug will not thread into that hole at all so I've tried everything I know to do, and it will not thread in. So, and I looked at the the uh, threads with a, my phone, and I zoomed it in and turned the light on. And yeah, the threads are almost completely stripped out; they're gone. So that spark plug at some point blew out, and it wasn't fixed properly. So I have to replace the threads in there with a uh, insert, which is what that kit is. And I'll get to that in a second. Uh, for those that know what that kit is. You know the kind of shit I got to go through to do that. But basically, I've got to drill out the threads for that cylinder head and replace the threads with a new, si a new set of threads that'll fit the insert in this kit. So this kit is from Calvan Tools. It's the Ford Triton insert installer, which this 4.6 and the 4.6 that's in the trucks, there's not much of a difference. So everything will work because i even threaded the spark plug into one of these inserts just to make sure and it threads in just like it's supposed to on the, the heads uh it comes with instructions you can also download the instructions with this uh qr code uh this is to test to make sure that the uh valves are closed because when you drill the threads out with this reamer uh, which is very sharp uh you have to use compressed air to blow out the shavings and you don't want air, you don't want shavings getting into where the uh, valves are because metal to metal is not a good idea and you don't want them getting behind the valves. You don't want them getting on the cams. You don't want them getting anywhere. So it also comes with a tap, which is a long ass tap. Uh, and it also comes with a C-clip or an E-clip that you put on the tap so that way it doesn't fall down into the cylinder because once you tap these threads <laughs> if you drop the tap it's going to be really hard to reverse it back out so they give you a stop for that they also give you a guide to put in the cylinder uh of the spark plug hole uh, and then there's also a stop for the drill bit and they say to use an air ratchet uh I, you probably can use an electric ratchet or a drill so I don't want to use my ratchet because it's shitty, so I'll bring my Milwaukee one home and I'll do it with that. But I don't have a compressor and I don't have a bore scope. I need to get both of those. 
Uh, but these are the inserts. I uh, don't know the thread size. You have to look that up. But the uh, the spark plugs do work on these. So I tried them already just to verify. But uh, and like this is easy. It just fits right inside the hole like so. And you put it up against the valve cover and it won't go anywhere. And then you get the drill. I mean, the drill bit reamer whatever you put it down in there then you go to town so i think that this is a half inch size socket could be bigger than that i don't really know i don't remember but I, and i know i'm gonna re, i'm gonna really destroy this guy's last name <laughs> but the uh the ford tech uh malacuco or whatever however you say his last name i apologize in advance he bought this kit and he actually showed how to use it and what to do. Uh, I don't even know if he used a bore scope. I could be wrong. But if you haven't, go watch his video about it. There's other videos that people have made that go over it. Uh, even the company that makes this, they've made a video about it. So, But it's really old. But I've still got other stuff to replace. Like I was going to replace all the pulleys. I was going to replace the water pump. I was going to replace the belt. The alternator, I'll just have it tested. Same thing with the battery. The battery looks relatively new, so I'm not going to bother with it. And unfortunately, today's a sad day because, as everybody knows, uh, I finally, uh, somebody else was interested in the truck, and I gave them the option to buy it first, and they're not interested because of the miles. That's fine. So today's the last day we have the truck. Uh, I'll drive it one more time uh, to go do some stuff. I'll go drive it to get a compressor probably. And then that'll be it for the rest of the day. Uh, I'll probably won't have it after today. Uh, no, I don't want to sell it. Yes, I do enjoy driving it. I do like it. I love the way it looks. I love the way it drives. I like how fast it is compared to the other stuff I've owned. Uh, but like I've said, it's just going to have to come down to the future. That's all I'm worried about. This car should be fine. Uh, it does run. It sounds like complete shit. Uh, like I'll I'll start it for just a second so you can hear how loud it gets, um, just because of the spark plug hole being open, and and this car's got good compression, so the motor's somewhat healthy. I don't know what the compression is, but uh, it's just going to be loud because of the uh, and I'll show that in a second. But the tube being broken for the EGR, and I've still got to do the hinge pins and all that stuff for this car also, so that'll be lovely, but. I'm just warning now, if you're using headphones, you better turn it down because it's going to be loud. And of course, it threw a check engine light because it's running on only seven cylinders, so it threw a misfire code immediately. So, yeah. But, anyway, uh, there is the guide. Whoops. There's the guide that was broken on the driver's side. So it was, it really wasn't even connected on either side, but there's one piece of it. There's another piece. There's another piece. And some of the, these two, these couple of pieces actually almost fell down in the oil pan, but I was able to fish them out to where they wouldn't do that. Uh, I have not changed the oil pan gasket yet because that job is very, very labor intensive and it involves a lot of shit to be replaced or be, uh, unbolted like the motor mounts and doing stuff like that. But I want to get the car running first to make sure that that's okay. Uh, because I think that the cams or the, the camshaft or the crankshaft and all that moved. So I need to make sure that there's no valves hitting anywhere that they're not supposed to. So I can't hear that with the car being loud as fuck like it is. And it's going to throw a check engine light right now also because I don't have the intake tube kicked up to the throttle body. So it's probably like, oh, what the fuck? What's going on here? So I got to do a lot of stuff, but I'll get it back on the road. I really don't have a choice. Uh, if I have to, I'll just buy something else with the money I used to buy the sell the truck for. I'm not really going to discuss how much I sell it for because I just don't want to hear it. I don't want to see comments about it. So only one or two people know how much I'm actually selling it for and the dealership that's buying it. So anyway, uh, yeah, and I, I appreciate the people that subscribe. There's been a couple of people that have subscribed just because of this car and this car alone. 
So I really appreciate that. I'll try to do as much as I can with this car as long as it treats me right. Uh, I can't, it's not the car's fault that it's got all these problems. Uh, it's the owner's fault before me that had this that didn't take care of it or previous owners. I don't know how many. Uh, I also don't have coolant in the in the car. I have water in it just because I'm not going to waste the money on coolant if it's got a leak and it's just going to leak it back out. So, uh, I think that's really it. So, you may not see a video for a little while. Uh, I'll get everything fixed and then make a video about it and see, you know, tell you how it goes and all that. But, uh, that's all I got for today. So, I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, everybody say goodbye to the truck. You know, like I said, it's been nice. It's been good. But you'll definitely see a truck in the future or an SUV or something. So, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you later. And we'll definitely miss the ramp. So, everybody have a good day.